Hello friends, it's Miss Mahan. We are on Unit 7, Lesson 6. Your learning target is to use data to create a bar graph. So I'm going to walk you through one time how to take the information from the frequency table on the left and put it into the bar graph, which right now is empty, but we're going to fill it all up. So one thing I want to point out is that everything we need to add is going to be on the plus sign. So when you click the plus sign, you can add a text box, you can add a shape. Those are the things that we're going to be adding. So look at the frequency table. It says type of fingerprint and it has three types. Each type has a number that goes with it. So that's the information that we're going to put into the bar graph. Let's look at our bar graph checklist we need to add a top label, a side label, a bottom label. We need to finish the scale that starts at zero. We need to add the types of fingerprints. So there's three different types. We need to put those into the bar graph. And then we need to add our different colored bars. So I'm gonna start by hitting the plus sign and hitting a text box. It's going to pop up and it's just all big in the middle. I'm gonna move it to the top to create my top label. We have the name of this bar graph is type of fingerprint. That comes directly from the frequency table on the left. So I'm gonna add a side label now, so another text box, and it is just simply going to be type. I'm gonna make that smaller and then I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing the way that the numbers will go or that the types will go. So I've done my top label, I've done my side label, now let's do my bottom label. This is number of students. Make it smaller make it fit and then move it to the bottom. So I've done my three labels. Now it says to do the scale. The scale starts at zero and for me to decide which numbers will go in the scale, I need to look at the numbers in the frequency table because if they are only going to 10, then my scale is probably gonna be by twos. But these numbers go all the way to 110. So I'm going to make my scale by 20s. So it starts at zero, so my next line will be 20. And then move that, whoops, whoops again. Move that to the next line. And then I'm gonna keep doing that until I get to the end. So 20 more than that will be 40, 50. I'm gonna do copy and then paste. So it'll already have one for me that's the right size, and then I can just change it to 60. If you don't want to do it that way, that's fine. You can just keep hitting the plus. That actually took me a little bit longer, so I'm going to go back to the other way. So what I'm finding out by doing this is that you probably should leave it big or bigger, move it, and then make it smaller because it's kind of hard to manipulate when the box is so small, it keeps wanting to resize it. So if you do it like that, just don't get super frustrated because it is pretty annoying, but there's ways you can work around it. 
And I have one more. So there's my scale. Let me move this one up just a little bit. Oops. So start at zero. The numbers, the increments have to be equal. So that's why I went by 20s. Now let's add some more text box to do the three types. So we have arch, loop, and whirl. Okay, and the very last thing on the bar graph checklist is the different colored bars. So to do that, we're gonna add a shape and let's choose a, it comes out as a square, but we're gonna make it into a rectangle. So let's start with arch. The frequency table says the arch goes to 100. So I'm gonna take mine to the 100 grid line and our checklist says that the bars need to be different colors. So I'm gonna do red for the first one. Make sure it starts at zero. See how it was a little off? There you go. I'm gonna add another shape. Loop. Goes to 110, so I'm gonna do halfway between 100 and 120 because that would equal 110. For this one, I'm gonna do yellow. And then I have one more, whorl, and it has a value of 80. So that one didn't come up as much as the other two. Let's make this one blue. Okay, so we have all of our labels, the top, the side, and the bottom. We have our scale going across, and our scale has the same increments of 20 for this one, because that's what makes sense. Uh, we have the three types filled in, the arch, loop, and whirl. And then we have different colored bars that represent the data from the frequency table. So that is all that you'll do. You'll have a different frequency table with different types of information, but I will have a checklist for you and you can use the plus sign to add your text boxes and your shapes that you can make into the bars.